I've asked myself if this whole process is worth it. And the answer is yes. So it's, it's 4.20 in the morning and I have my estradiol under my tongue so I can't talk very much. But I'm getting up and getting ready to head to the hospital to get this work on. So, which means it's time to get ready. It's worth it. I can breathe through my nose fully for the first time in 35 years. For the first time since I was five or six years old and my sister swung a golf club and hit me in the face and moved my cartilage like smashed across my nose. I didn't, she didn't break my nose, luckily. Glad my sister has a bad golf swing. You know. um, but my nose wasn't broken, however, the cartilage was just completely deviated, and um, I lived with it for my whole life until recently. It started to become a bit difficult. Um, and so this last week, if you saw my previous video, I um, went to the hospital, and they, they put stints up inside my nose. I had my surgery, and now my nose is just training, but I can breathe again. I'm so happy. I can breathe, and I'm doing really well. I'm super happy, using tears of joy. I'm kind of covered in blood, but I'm doing alright. And today, August... August? What, what August day is it? Um... Okay, August 15th, yeah. So Tuesday, August 15th, they had the stints removed. A week ago, August 9th, they had them put up there, they had me put under, and they put the stints up there. And now they're removed, and all they did to remove them, all they did was like spray a little bit of, um, like numbing. I could still feel things, but nothing was like painful, painful. Um, so... They removed those literally like maybe an hour ago. And here I am sitting back home. I'm sweating like crazy um, because it was 107 degrees yesterday, 108, and it's been like in the hundreds for a few days now. And so I'm staying in the hundreds, so I'm sweating like crazy. But the thing is, is like... Like, I'm seeing my nostrils move properly, like... And they're still a little stiff right now, which is fine, and there's still like, I don't know, just a little bit of like... ointment around the edge, which is okay. I'm not really experiencing any drainage anymore. I know there's some that's gonna come around the back. Um, but I feel... I feel so good. I feel really, really good, this experience. This is like the first, yeah, this is the first surgery I've ever had. And um, to do that up inside the head, you know, um, typically a lot of people feel a lot of pain. Um, I didn't. Um, I felt, you know, I felt pain obviously like the first day of the surgery, but you know, it's gonna be normal. You're gonna feel some pain from, uh, mostly from having to be like intubated, you know, they put the tube in you and stuff like that. And I felt that. Um, so I took pain medication that, that first night, however, throughout this last week, I only took Tylenol. I did not like how the pain medication made me feel. So, um, I feel really good. I feel really good. God, I can't stop doing that. It's so... I love it so much. I really do. I do. And... It's really hot right now, but I'm glad like I can breathe in this type of weather now because normally it's really, really bad. So I'm happy and you know, I'm all itchy and sweaty now. Like, But I'm really happy and I feel up really well and I feel up really well like, or nice and fast. No complications, which is so good, you know, it's, it's always a worrisome thing going into a surgery and a procedure like this, it's like, what's gonna happen? 
Um, nothing happened other than. <sighs> I mean, I feel really good about it. So, I'm curious if you've um, experienced anything like this or if you have like breathing problems um, of your own, you know, that you've, you've had to deal with and stuff like that. You know, have you gone through this procedure? Are you having problems? I'm curious to know. Like, I love to hear what people say because I like sharing what's going on with me. Um, I don't know what else to say other than I really enjoyed this. Like, it was a really quick in and out process. It really was. Um, and if you're thinking about it, I highly recommend it. Um, I don't know if you're in my area, but <laughs> I can recommend. I could recommend a good. A, doctor, um, an audiologist to go to for this, because they did a fantastic job, so, anyways, this is my little five minute thing on, you know, my recovery, and a week later, and, yeah, this is me, I am, take care, I'll see you guys again.